Alright, what's up guys? So today we're going to be talking about Bubblegum Simulator and the developers who work behind the game, or Isaac himself who made the game. So, Isaac says, It's pretty sad and disappointing how toxic people have become about demanding updates and expecting them so frequently. It's as if people have forgotten that a real person is behind their toxic comments. Developers burn out, especially after 70 updates. I've been working on Bubblegum Simulator for over two years now, and I want a chance to work on new projects. Because I love developing, and I need a change from working on the same thing. I've already made a post about how Bubblegum Simulator updates won't be as frequent. It's sad how that people think because they purchased a Game Pass, they're entitled to harass me about a dead game, or that it's my job to slave away for them. It's not, and being toxic doesn't make me want to work on the game any harder. So... If you see the description of Bubblegum Simulator, this is update 74, and they've been working on this game for over two years. And this update has a lot of new features. It has Easter, it has Easter eggs and stuff, it has 48 new pets. There's a lot of stuff in this update. Sure, it might be not as much as you wanted, but you have to realize, being in the spot takes a long time. Having to constantly push out updates to satisfy the community is really, is, is like in a very stressful spot if you're the developers of these games. Like, having to constantly deal with toxic comments and having to constantly push out updates for this game, it's, it's a very tough spot. And I don't think a lot of people realize that. But today, I guess we're going to be reading some comments. So this guy says, in my opinion, obviously you have the most popular game out there right now. Just kidding. No, it's not. Adopt Me is the most popular game right now. What are you talking about? You and your team have made millions around just one game, and you will continue the revenue. I understand people shouldn't be toxic, but we have a right to be mad if you take three weeks to update the game. So in my opinion, no, you don't have the right to be mad. You can, be, you can be disappointed all you want. But don't be mad at the developers for not updating a game that they've been working on for two years. And they specifically said that they're already burnt out and they don't like they don't really want to work on this project that much anymore. And they want to start working on new projects. And there's this is a very controversial reply. A lot of people have also replied to this. And yeah, let's read this one. You have a right. Lamau, oh please. Isaac is a real person, and so are the other developers. They have lives. They can't just sit on a chair making updates for a game for the rest of their lives. If you can't wait, go find other games to play. There are millions. Much love for the game, and I will continue to play it as long as it exists, but you are a heavy fan base that won't leave Bubblegum Simulator. We understand you're trying to build bigger, but you gotta accept that Bubblegum Simulator is too popular and will continue to stay that way. We have the, a right to be mad. So... This one is something I don't agree with as well. I'm not a Bubblegum Simulator fan. I don't play the game. But the thing is, I don't think anyone has the right to be mad. You have the right to be disappointed. And yeah, you, you have the right to be disappointed. But the right to be mad, really, especially the, when there's been over 70 updates on this game, and the developers have already said that they're going to stop the updates frequently. Like, they're going to stop the frequent updates. This guy is a probably a huge fan of Bubblegum Simulator, but... You know... Just don't be mad at these developers. Being in their shoes is super hard. Are you kidding me? A lot of people are supporting this, though. They said... Uh, there's a lot of... Uh, comments here. And, um, yeah. Uh, that's all I wanted to say, really. Don't attack the developers of Bubblegum Simulator for not updating the game. They already said that they were burnt out, and they don't, they're not as motivated as much anymore to update the game. And you have to realize, I know I said this already, but... They've been updating this game for two years, and working on this project is just not their number one priority anymore, really. So, yeah. In my opinion, you don't have the right to be mad. You can be disappointed, but just don't be mad at them, really. Like, 
if you're even if you're a very dedicated bubblegum simulator fan, you know, you have, you have to be in their shoes, put yourself in their shoes for one moment and realize what's happening. But that's all I had to say, really. So thank you guys for watching and goodbye.